Let's go over what you should expect if you purchase the DeWalt 20 volt power pruner. First, this is a brush tool. So notice the sparks back here. That is completely normal. And this is most likely a brush tool due to the fact that you're gonna need the torque right off the bat if you're using this on a full cut, which is a one and a half inch limb. Now you notice when we go to that full cut, sometimes you'll start cutting in, it'll have to back itself off, and you'll have to do this multiple times to get through the tree. Now that's all gonna depend on the tree as some of the cuts go through a lot cleaner, some a little bit harder. It's gonna be a softness of the wood issue and how cleanly it can cut through with the power that it has. This tool operates very quickly, so if you're going through smaller limbs or even mid-sized limbs pruning, you can go very, very fast. There is a safety at the rear. You just pull down the secondary trigger and hold it back. At that case in time, you'll know that the front LED light will come on, and then you are able to pull the trigger and let loose. That will basically close the jaws, based on the trigger position and hold them. Now, if you hold this safety too long without the trigger going off, it will essentially lock out the jaws. You'll have to let the safety go and pull it back in. That is great because you wanna keep your fingers out of those jaws because it would cut them very, very quickly. This tool has a front guard that allows you to snake your way in and out of branches without anything getting caught. And the two amp hour battery on here is supposed to cut 1100 branches per DeWalt. However, in the half hour that we were out trimming trees, we have already dropped down to one bar. Now I believe those 1100 cuts might be based off of very small trimmings, but either way, two amp hour battery is going to last you a majority of the day that you're gonna be trimming, even if you are doing this in a professional circumstance. The blades have a non-stick coating, which is great when you get into multiple sappy trees over and over. Nothing seems to stick to them, and they continue to stay clean and cut well. Overall power of this unit is actually amazing with the small battery. You can get in and cut just about anything you'd like. The softer the wood, the faster and easier it cuts, obviously, but even if you get into dead wood, it will snap that apart quite quickly. If you're moving around trimming trees or pruning trees quite often, this is a great great tool that really takes a lot of pressure off your hand and would allow you to move faster and make more money, especially in the commercial market. Now, if you're a DIY guy at home, this might just stick out to you because it makes things quite quick and easy to move around and gives you another $100 tool basically to add to your 20 volt collection. If you get this in a kit, it's gonna be around 160 to 170 with the two amp hour battery. But basically here you have a very good tool that was made very well and doesn't cost a lot of money. If you are using this tool professionally, there is an onboard tool here so you can quickly change the forward cutting blades or take them off to get something closer. And there is also another tool on the side that you can get in and adjust things up. This is your stop here. Pretty simple to get through and work with. I think this tool is going to appeal to a lot of people, but some people might feel that it is still expensive for a pair of pruners at $100. But if you really go out and look at how much a good set of manual pruners cost, this isn't that far off. I was pleasantly surprised at the performance of this. Very fast closing, fast opening. You could move it around easily. It's very comfortable in your hand. It has that very distinct DeWalt grip. Very easy to use. You could basically hand this over to just about anyone and they're gonna be able to get in and use it quite simply. I would always caution you to watch where that second hand is because there is no stopping this. When that trigger is pulled, it's coming down. It's not like you have a pair of pruners in your hand and if you feel a pinch, you just stop. It's a little different when you have something that is mechanically powered. Now, you do have a case or guard that goes over top of this. So when you are moving around or have it in a bag, just in case something actually happened and the, the trigger did get pulled, it would have some sort of cover over this to stop anything from getting cut because that is a real concern with a tool like this. 
Overall, highly recommended if someone's looking for it. If you're gonna consistently cut one and a half inch branches, this is not your tool. You're gonna to wanna to stay one inch and lower, basically because you're not gonna to wanna to kinda of go through and chew away at it. Some of them cut quite cleanly, some of them you really had to work with it, but one inch and lower, it was very clean, very fast, and very precise. You were able to get up close to the tree if you wanted to, or back off a little bit, the handle is simple. It's kind of like using a drill. You just move around where you need to, clip things off. Very cool tool. If you have any questions about it, leave it below. Also leave your comments. Would you buy something like this? What do you think of the $99 price range that it is out there? Do you think it should be priced a little less or do you think it's right in the ballpark? I'm always curious on pricing on these tools. Give us a like in this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.